And while we are waiting for uh, questions to come in, uh, I don't think anyone uh, interested in the sort of uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager sphere missed that there was a new version of Config Manager uh, released uh, just a week or so ago. That is the week and a half ago, 2203 is an early release ring. So that means that you need to opt into it to get it going in a lab environment. As usual, I do not really recommend that you uh, put it in production just yet, but by all means, if you have a test environment, which you should, our uh, lab environment, QA, pre-prod, whatever you call it, uh, now is the time to get it going in, in that environment. And since there are no questions coming in just yet, I figure I can just uh, mention a few of the changes that were in this uh, release. Uh, the most obvious one is obviously that we finally have a pre-release of a, a dark team that we can enable. So I've enabled that in my tenant, and that means that if I want to switch, I can simply go up to the file menu here and switch the console team. It's going to ask me to do uh, restart the console. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now I have uh, a dark theme console, which I think looks pretty cool. Uh, personal view, but uh, I'm a big fan, big fan. Other changes that made me excited in uh, 22.03 was that we now can force clients or motivate clients to use a CMD for a software update point. So you might remember for the longest time we had the ability when we configure our boundary groups, whatever they may be, and there you can say in options, you can say prefer cloud-based sources. This now also goes for the software update point uh, if you have one. But this checkbox right here. Just be a little bit uh, cautious. It will put some strain on your uh, internet breakout. So uh, make sure you plan for that. We, we actually had a few customers that enabled this and didn't quite realize how much traffic that would actually go over that internet link, and it turned out to be uh, quite a bit. Uh, other exciting features is uh, on the software update point itself. The, I believe I have one here. We now have the option of, uh, let me zoom in on this one, but we can adjust uh, the download speed using LEDBAT, something that's been recommended to use for distribution points for the longest time for all of that type of content, but that also is from the software update point. I highly, highly recommend to enable this one. You will find that um, it will be using that much better if this one is enabled. Prior to this being up in the console like this, you've always been able to do that through PowerShell uh, because it's just a TCP template anyway that you can control that but, uh, settings, but this is nice to get the checkbox in here. Other good stuff that came uh, in 22.03 is that you now can escrow uh, keys in your sequences when you do uh, have BitLocker management enabled. That was something that you always had the ability to do in the standalone MBAM solution, but Microsoft didn't add in until quite recently now in this release here in, in Config Manager. So good stuff there. Uh, what else? Well, they also added in uh, some visualization for content distribution. That means that if you scroll down here, and you have different type of content, you can easily see which distribution points that one has been uh, uh, available. 